for me personally, it's very important to have a second opinion because if you are working on the cars for years and developing them and testing them on the Nürburgring and other racetracks and, and, and really putting a lot of effort in the car, you get more or less a little bit of single-minded view on the car because you're, you're a unity with this car during the development phase. And to have a second opinion from the outside, from a professional race driver, is, is really important, sometimes mind-opening. And in this case, it was a, a good um, reflection on, on what the, uh, the R&D people did on that car. Uh, and, and more or less also uh, a positive feedback that what they did was exactly right to be very fast on the racetrack. Well, for the DTM drivers, it was a big uh, step because they come from the race cars, uh, the very light, light race cars into an SUV. And of course, their first idea was let's have a look if we can move these vehicles very fast on the track. Uh, they were not sure when they started, but when they got into the car and drove on the track, they were really. They were enthusiastic about the way the car behaves, the, the way the car handles, how, how easy it is to be very, very fast with these cars on the racetrack. Um, and they have a very good feel uh, for the vehicle dynamics and the way the vehicles can be moved. And it is just fun to watch them drive and even more fun to drive with them. One of the most important thing for me was that in this environmental, it was not possible to bring the car to a hot mode. And the car itself, from the cooling system, from the brakes, it's uh, on the same way like the engine and the performance of the car can be used so that we have a good balance of all the components of the car, gearbox, engine, drivetrain, brakes, suspension, and so on. And uh, this is for me as well the most important thing that you have a balance the sum of all the components should be better than all the single components. Yeah, one of the main feedback I remember was Shoei Hand, who told us just by coming out of the car, the engine pushes, it's unbelievable. And there were some other points like, the brake is amazing, there is no fading, after a lot of laps here, the gearbox shifts very, very exactly, very precise. The agility of the engine is amazing and the agility of the whole car, steering, brakes, the suspension and the chassis is really, really stiff so that you can drive the car as well in a, in a really sporty mode here on a, on a racetrack. It made me proud because uh, yeah, to see them smile when they had the first contact here on this racetrack with the car and to see how easy they could handle with the car and how many pleasure they had by driving these cars here in the 20 curves of the Circuit of the Americas. It was amazing to see how easy they, they handled with the car and how emotional they came out of the car and explained us their experience about the driving. And this made us really proud because we knew then the car is in the way like we um, expected to develop it. Eins, zwei, drei. <laughs> he wanted the rock, paper, scissors, and he got to drive the car first. But him and I, we caught up. Schon Wahnsinn, wenn du so ein Auto hast, was so viel wiegt, so schnell um eine Rennstrecke fahren kannst. For me, it's a, it's a pretty amazing little SUV. I mean, this car is crazy, how quick it is. Das Auto kann so viel, hat Leistung, hat eine super Kurvenlage. Das, da kann man nur mit dem Grenzen aussteigen.
I think what's impressive is how you guys have been able to always build the BMW feel into every BMW I've ever driven. 